Welcome to part 4 of Structure for Beginners in SOLIDWORKS. In this part we will take a look at how to add the weldings to the 3D model. In order to see the weldings in the 3D model, there is some basic settings that needs to be set. Go to System Options, Document Properties, Detailing and check Welds. Select OK. Now go to View and click Weld Beds. Now when the weldings are added, they will be displayed in the 3D model. To add a welding, go to Weld Bed. Under Settings, you can select two phases, Weld From Weld 2. Select the first phase and then the second phase. Under settings there are some different options for the welding. The tangent propagation will continue the welding as long as the phases are tangent. To define the weld symbol click Define Weld Symbol, go to Weld Symbol. In here all the symbols are available for the different types of weldings. Now because there is more than one way to weld profiles together, I will stick to the default symbol in this exercise. Select OK. Select OK to create the weld. Now let's add a weld to the other side. Go into Weld Bed. Instead of selecting the two faces, we will use the Smart Weld Selection tool. With this, you only need to draw a line through the two faces. This tells SolidWorks that you want to make a weld between these two faces. Select Tangent Propagation. OK. Now let's add a weld to the support beam. Select Smart Weld Selection Tool. Draw a line between the two faces. Now in this case, I can choose Tangent Propagation and it will make a welding all around. But I can also choose the All Around feature and the result will be the same. Select OK to create the weld. If you want to display the welding symbols Go to View, All Annotations, and the welding symbol will appear in the 3D model. This completes the fourth part of Structure for Beginners in SOLIDWORKS. In part 5 we will take a look at how to create a 2D drawing of the structure and adding the cut list to the drawing. Thank you for watching.